this is going to be the start of our counter conditioning process. This is how we actually teach dogs not to be reactive and how to focus on their handler, but it's very important that the handlers get the timing right and they get their speed down. So we're going to practice with a really easy neutral object. So I am just going to shake this box of cookies and as soon as Berlin looks at it, we want to instantly mark and reward her for looking at it and not having obviously a reactive event. And we want to do that over and over until hopefully she starts to look at the box and look back at her owner. So here we go. And click and treat. And click and treat. And if she doesn't respond, just put it right in her face. Just shove it down her throat. Yeah, good. And try not to move forward because you don't want her to then get closer to me. Good job. Good speed, Jen. Good job. Make sure she looks first. Don't reward her without her looking at the, her target. Good. Maybe try to keep that hand out of the pouch there. Good. So now let's do a little delay next time she looks. One, two, three, and click and treat. So we're going to see if we can get her to disengage on her own next time she looks. One, two, three, click. So if she doesn't look, we're going to click and treat her before she makes a mistake. Click and treat. Good. So most dogs are not going to get to level two right away. Click and treat. Good. So we don't want her to try to pull forward. You notice she's not moving at all. That's really nice. She hasn't tried to lunge forward, click and treat. So don't let her look at that box for longer than three seconds. Click and treat. So we're trying to delay a little bit, see if she'll look back at her owner. Good job. So really nice, fast clicks, just put it in her face. Yeah, good. And try and delay again when she looks. Click. She's like, I really want those cookies, man. N really nice that she's turning away with the click now. We're not having to put it down her throat. But we still haven't seen a level two behavior. There's kind of one. <laughs> you can click and treat her there. We'll give her a couple more chances to see if she'll do it. Click and treat. Try not to get her, don't let her go much longer than three seconds. Don't want to get too excited looking at this. Click and treat. Because we want, she has a very low chance of disengaging the longer she stares. You see, the longer we let her stare, the more excited she's getting, her tail's wagging. She's getting really, really curious as to why I am wagging a cookie box and she's not getting it, okay? So that's really good. So we're gonna try Lucy with our box of cookies. So we couldn't get a level two behavior from Berlin. She wouldn't look away on her own and look back to her owner, but we did make sure she didn't go over threshold, so she didn't try to pull forward towards it, and she was rewarded for looking at it, so obviously she would have had lots of nice conditioning for at least seeing this object if it was something she was scared of, and we made sure that her handler, Jen, got a really good sense of how to be quick and how to handle the timing, and she did a great job. So we're going to try with Lucy. We're going to see if our goal, our ultimate goal, is that she will look at the target and look at her owner on her own. So we're going to start with, you click as soon as she looks at this. And just put it right in her face. So we're going to do a lot of level one clicks immediately. Very good. I think she's starting to get ready. Yeah, just let her have it. That's fine. So make sure she looks at it. Don't be too quick on the draw. Very good. So I think she's getting ready here. So let's give her the delay now, Steph. So we'll delay for her. There we go. So she glanced over at me, looked back to you. Perfect. So there she did it again. So that's pretty good. I wasn't shaking it, but she still looked. There we go. That's a perfect, nice level two. So she sees the trigger, looks back to her owner, and is rewarded. So Lucy is able to disengage from the thing she's interested in. Nice little delay there when she looked forward and not at you. Very nice. 
So very, very nice behaviors. She's on a level two. And the third step we could do, the final step, would be that now we don't need to necessarily even click every single time she looks at you. You could even just say good girl and maybe click every second one. And then she's on the path to doing very, very well. So great job. So our students have had a chance now to practice with an enamored object, just me holding a box of cookies, getting their timing ready. So now we're going to prep them again with a stuffed dog. Again, we are building our handler's confidence so that they feel confident when they're handling their reactive dog. We don't want to start throwing dogs in front of them. We want to bring up to that until they have good timing. So now we're going to work with a stuffed dog, get their timing down so they don't feel the pressure of a real dog, and get them confident and ready to go next step with real dogs. So you guys ready? So here comes the dog, so ready? Wait for it to look, there, click and treat, good job. If she looks back, do it again instantly. So just ignore her if she's trying to solicit food. There, good job. You really want her to get the connection between I look at dogs, that's how I get my reward. There, good job. Very fast timing, there, click. She looked right back when you gave her that treat, so you want to be ready for that. Good. So now let's do a little delay, Trevor. So just wait one, two, three. There. Very nice. So a nice level two there. So we're going to wait for her to look at the dog. One, two, three. Click. So just almost at the very end did she look away on her own. So we're going to see if we can get a nice response again. Again, ignore her. Nice. So just delay next time she looks. One, two. Nice. So very nice level two. Again, if she stares at you and does any nice behavior, just ignore it. We want her to know the real behavior here is to look at the dog. There, and reward that. Very nice. So that's great. Great job. So one of the reasons why it's so important that I kept telling Trevor to ignore her when she was looking away from the dog is because oftentimes the fearful dog will not want to look at the other dog. They will ignore it. They will stare only at their handler. And then if the dog gets to a distance where they are not comfortable, that's when you get the reactive display. So we want the fearful dogs to know it's OK to look at this. And we, in fact, want to start the counter conditioning process so that fear actually goes away, because that's what will really make a dent in the reactivity. We don't want the fearful dogs to simply avoid the other dogs. We want them to know it's OK to look. Good things are going to happen, and then you can look back to your handler and we move on with life.